Hi, so you and I are two people within a large population. A population is a group of individuals of species that live nearby and are capable of interbreeding. If you look at the world around us, you'll notice that many people have different traits and features. This can be described by population genetics. This is basically how populations can change genetically and therefore evolve over time. The idea behind genes influencing evolution is that allele frequencies are altered throughout generations. Keep in mind alleles are a segment of your DNA and are present within genes and chromosomes. They can either be dominant or recessive. The dominant allele is always expressed, whereas the recessive is only expressed when it's not paired with the dominant allele. To better understand how certain factors influence and alter populations, two scientists named Godfrey Hardy and Willem Weinberg derived an equation which led to the Hardy-Weinberg principle. This principle describes a population that is not evolving. Now, you must be wondering, how can a hypothetical population that doesn't evolve explain a population that basically prospers due to evolution? Much like my five fingers, there are five factors that can cause changes in allele frequencies and therefore evolve populations over time. In order to see the Hardy-Weinberg principle at work, we must forget about all five factors altogether. This allows us to create an equilibrium or a perfect world to see specifically which factors influence populations and how they do so. First, there is no natural selection. Alleles for organisms better adapted for the environment survive and are passed on, which means the allele frequency would be altered. For example, if individuals with red hair survive better in an environment, red hair would be more frequently seen in the next generation. The next factor that is removed is mutations. With mutations, the gene pool becomes modified. During the formation of gametes, there is a mistake made while copying DNA. For example, the next generation's height is significantly taller than the parent. Next, no genetic drift, which means a large population. The larger the population, the less of an impact if a different factor is modified. Next, random mating. Random mating prevents sexual selection, which is when organisms with certain traits are more likely to get chosen by a mate than individuals without those traits. Lastly, there is no gene flow. By moving alleles in and out of a population, the allele frequency gets altered, resulting in new traits in the individual of the next generation in comparison to the current generation. By removing these factors, there will be no changes in allele frequencies over generations. Simply put, if none of these factors are applied to the population, there should be no evolution taking place. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something about population genetics. See you soon!